Okay, it's Correspondence Day, so I've got about 70 Correspondence games on the go at the moment. Was 100, it's now down to 70. Not been doing too bad, been faring okay. So probably around about 70% wins, which is not too bad. So I'm just going to go through some today. Just a practice session to basically just practice long play games, long play thinking worst thing to do when you're doing correspondence things is when you flick on if you've got a lot of games or even if you've got a single one and you just look at it and then you, you treat it like it's a blitz match or a bullet match you know you come on you go right okay make a quick move and then that's it um that's not the idea i believe for me anyway it's about taking time and trying to find a the better your best moves possible up to a point depending on what level you're playing at you know um, I'm playing my A game then I'm I'm pretty okay pretty strongish um, I can reduce it down depending on who I'm playing against you know what I mean um, so these I've been having some fun with these correspondence games so let's crack on and see what we've got okay so I like to look at the last few moves that I've made just to make sure that I'm on the right page so then they've moved out of the way we were going to be taking the pawn just making sure that there's no forks anywhere that the knights potentially got so we're taking it's blocked his bishop at the moment our bishop stopping his bishop coming here i do think his knight's going to be coming to attack our bishop either here or to here because he's going to be attacking this pawn So I think this one's going to be the better one and the bishop can then come and protect it. So let's hang fire on that move for a second. That is potentially the, the attack process that they're going to go for. Attacking the bishop, attacking the pawn. Do we want to be giving pieces up? After we've gone here, he comes there, bishop can't protect it. Can we do something else? The rook is on live for our bishop, so our bishop could attack the king just to win a tempo. But is it a tempo that's going to help me protect this? Maybe so, because then we'll be able to push the pawn up. So we take, knight comes down for the bishop. Bishop comes and puts a check on the king. King can move to the side here, can move there can't go there so it's moving to one of the other sides it's probably going to want to keep protecting the bishop so it's probably going to move here when they do that okay i think that makes sense let's go here and one of the downsides for correspondence chess is like this is like i've, I've chosen three day games and some i've got seven days on and those are my casual ones playing against like club players um, is remembering the move order of things um, you can put it into the notes section in here um, this analysis tool thing but sometimes it changes depending on what the opponents moved so I don't really necessarily like to use the notes so I, I play it through again in my head and sometimes you miss the magical moves that you'd thought of when you were doing your checks so that's one of the downsides but we'll go with this one okay so I'll go back a few moves and so we've captured or oh, I didn't really want to be capturing the Queen don't like this game I think we're losing positionally it's actually taken with the Bishop I thought they were going to take with the Rook so that might be a horse of a different color I don't know why they've taken with the Bishop so we can come here attack the pawn but obviously this pawn is coming down to defend we don't necessarily need to do that because it's a bit obvious maybe coming here this pawn drops down and then we can attack the bishop that way yeah attacking the pawn is a bit obvious pawn comes down Mm hmm I'm actually going to go this way I'm going to go this way because it's leaving a bit of power for our rook if we decide to come here potentially attacking the pawn this way it's all a bit slow but hey 
let's go with that oh this is another tricky ticky game okay so we pushed on to the bishop and they've moved out of the way don't really like our position because he's got his bishop on the pawn so I'm gonna have to move this pawn up I really wanted to be owning the file attacking his rook but I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna have to save problem I've got is because it's owning the file it's just gonna drop here is attacking this pawn so I'm then gonna have to be defending that's really annoying could go for pawn for a pawn attack his pawn here if his bishop takes we take the pawn yes not happy with this whatsoever anything else white square bishop no mm. push up he comes down that's really that's really rubbish isn't it then having to come across here then he brings his other rook into the game mm. I think attacking their pawn and just let him have that takes yeah that's what I'm going with what we got here go back a few knights attacking the bishop bishop moves and the bishop is taking the knights doubling up Doubling up my pawns. Any concerns? There's quite a lot of stuff that is going on here because I do have this bishop. Got the rook here. Was looking to get this involved. So I could bring the queen there with the big massive threats that we've got on this pawn. If he does something, then we can take the bishop if not bishop goes back but then he's protecting this area ah yeah okay so if we did do that then his bishop just comes back here protecting we take pawn takes and that is it we just got the queen and the rook there rook takes queen takes now i'm gonna have to take aren't I? Wow, they're all tricky these ones aren't they crikey so rooks attacking and he's wanting to get this pass pawn going and looks like he's going for might be a draw if he's going backwards and forwards um rook can't squeeze in there went here to avoid the draw so I was on the white square I went up so then if I come here then he goes there yeah, I think they might be looking for a draw on that one although they're a pawn well no, they're not a pawn up they've got split pawns okay what's this one oh this is like defending forever and a day here so we've got two rooks they've got a bishop and a rook and we've got two knights so it's more in our favor but we've got to think positionally is it right would be ideal to get this here if I push though it's just gonna push past would be ideal if he did take them we'd get the fork but that's not going to happen that's why we've not done that so he's pushed down could push on to so he's doing slow moves and i'm feeling there's something meaty but there's nothing so i'm just gonna have to keep it all samey samey could push this <laughs> Hmm. 
if you see in this pawn it's not good so up cross cross because it's this pawn that's stopping the knight from getting the fork so if we put pressure on it then I suppose his rook comes there then we could push this pawn because we'd have support with the rook here but this may stop us from going there up so if he drops there then we can't go here so if we hit oops not the move so if we go there and say does drop then we can go here attacking it boom, 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 boom. okay let's give that a try oh this is that one where we said he, we were surprised he took with the bishop um, could go here attacking the bishop and the pawn his bishop's just going to come here but when they play the quick get quick moves in the correspondence games um, I do get a little bit twitchy so seeing as we've made a move in this one I'm going to see if there's any other games that are I haven't made a move in yet. Okay. So we've moved the bishop, he's pushing down now, he's looking to <coughs> lean onto the bishop as expected. And I am looking to pressure his rook, I believe. This pawn's got no support at the minute, so he'd have to bring that one to do that. So we've got time to bring that rook across. It's back to that one again. So I'm not doing this one because this person obviously is online. Okay, and this one's against a club member. Let me see. Do have a gap? Let's attack we're back to that one again and this one's against a club member he's moved his knight back around again so he's doing a bit of a dance with his knight so he's offering it up obviously doesn't like ours but he's looking to probably come and cause some disruption could castle see if we do take bishop's doing a nice job blocking this pawn so is he going to get some sort of yeah because then his queen's invited to the party on a diagonal on the queen king side we don't like them apples develop the knight if we develop the knight um, so he's gone out to come back in maybe as well come back in it's attacking anything nope seems to be a bit of a strange way of working don't really want to invite his queen in into the pie uh, i'm not i'm not wearing them apples today developing the knight get stuff off the back i think we'll go with that and we're back to this one again okay right so i'm thinking if we do go there his rook's just going to come here pinning our rook could support kind of splits the pawns up could bring the knight here I'm just thinking my knight's gonna get trapped it's probably too far up the board just based on my experience up and then we don't have there because he's got that we don't have there we don't have here 
we don't have there, there's no movement and we don't have there. So it's almost like I'm putting it into a trap if I put it there. So if I bring it back, that'll feel a bit more comfortable I think. Let's go here. You could look to go for an exchange, no I couldn't. Right, I think that's my common sense thing, I think I'm going to go with that. And this one's against a competition player, really strong. I'm, I'm showing him, I'm, I was showing him my A game and now I've dropped it down to my C game. And he's just said, no, 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 I want you to beat me. So, <laughs> oh, we shall see. Let's just grab this queen here. So the knight did come down for the bishop. Okay, so it looks like I've woken everybody up by making my moves now. So, what did we say we were going to do? We were going to bring the bishop here, putting a check on the king to give this pawn a bit of tempo. I think we're going to still stick with that. Because the rook's defending. Yeah, I don't think I need to go through that one again. And this is the second game against the competition player okay right so let's see what we've got here let's see if i can get my wits about me so he's not bothered about this knight he's not defended that area he's put his own attack in so if i go rushing castling i think castling is going to be wise just to get rid of any trouble and then what's his knight going to do he's coming in for the kill somewhere Um, I don't think there's too much. He's not so bothered about castling because he's a very aggressive player. Tactics all over the place. And that's what I'm just trying to view now if there's any tactics. Uh, he's got his eye on the. Can't move that just yet. Queen's not in the game. Queen could come down and attack. He likes to work his pieces together as well. So I have, if I castle, then he comes here, attacking the bishop. We take. I suppose then he don't want to split his pawn, so that might not be the way. Maybe he comes here and attacks it. We take, he takes. Yeah, you see that magic there because look, his queen will be on this square and see the target that he's got with the bishop here on the pawn. Very clever. Mm, gotta watch these moves. So we castle, his queen comes down, do we take? We don't have to take. Could leave it there, it's just his knight's going to bounce all over the place. Queen takes and then just push the pawn up, opening up the dark square bishop. Oh yeah, okay. Castle. I think keeping keeping safe is key. Well, we're on to the next one. Okay, so he's moved this king, so it does give us time to move the pawn, but he's moved to not a position that we said he was going to go to because I thought he was going to protect his bishop so now it makes me think well I don't really need to concentrate so much on this but get rid of his bishop because we have to check through with the rook so if I brought my bishop here his king can't come back to protect the bishop obviously he can move the bishop though so I don't know why I'm going on Hmm. Um. 
we go here, we're on the bishop, but then we're opening up the bishop because he can come here. And... Mmm... Come on, I'm trying try not to be too fancy. Try not to be too fancy. Maybe just do the pawn move like we said. So I don't really know where his bishop's gonna go. And his king is making his way towards here. If we came back all the way here, his bishop can't go there, so he's gonna have to come here to keep himself safe. So I still win a tempo because he's then having to move his bit. You don't have to go there. He can, he's got all this here, actually. He's got all that, that. Attacking the pawn. So basically, coming and attacking the pawn. So we may as well just move this pawn because everything's going to be focused on that. Let's move the pawn. Yeah. Craggy. That was uh, too much. Alright, okay. This is against the club player. And this is going to be funky because he's got this and he's got this. And what we're trying to fashion... Bring in this here, attacking the bishop. I think he's going to go backwards. I don't think he's going to take. So I'm just going to come here, attack the bishop. What is this one? Okay, so we pushed on to the bishop and we're trying to open up space towards the king area because we've got the queen if the bishop takes we can take so bishop's gonna have to move off the line mm -hmm. bit tense on this pawn let's see so we'll go with that one and well this is a new one All right Okay, so we castled. Oh no, this is the against the club player, sorry. Yeah, see, I'm starting to go into speed up mode now. I need to just turn it down. All right, okay, so he's not done the move that I thought he was going to do. It's opened his dark square bishop because he wants to go and castle. He's taking his time now. He's not actually ramping the moves out. So we could push the pawn here in readiness. To open up the dark square bishop yeah I don't want to over expand I was thinking of attacking the bishop and all that sort of stuff but just nice and steady away opens the dark square bishop brings his bishop here if I can get him doing stuff that he doesn't want to do then that's fine if I can stop him from attacking that's gonna be great He's too much of a tactical man. To, tactics are like oozing out of him all the time. Knight. Knight. So we push up. Does he come here for some reason? Pushing up. And I think that's the last one then. Nothing else has dropped up. Brilliant. So that's the correspondence session. Uh, nice long play games. It does really help improve your math skills, strategy, planning. Don't win all of them because, you know, sometimes I go through them too quickly. So that would be my downfall. So I, I'm learning to really tone down the speed. 
have a look at who I'm playing. If you know the personality of the player, most times out of 10, then that does help as well in the game because you kind of can sort of second guess what types of maneuvers they're going to make. If you don't know them, you don't know them, that's fine. There's a lot of people on here I don't know because I've just done like a general seek. Oh, I should have flicked off the recording and now he's done a move. So he's not actually gone here. So he's actually a targeting. So this is where we have the problem. Not problem, but he's going to start doing all his tactical stuff towards the king area. And what I want to do is try and block off that stuff if I can. If I can stop it before it actually starts, that would be brilliant. I mean, I might be taking a chance here because he could sacrifice, open up. He's looking to weave his queen down here somehow. Am I being too previous? I've got my knight up here at the minute. Let's x-ray through to his queen for now. And that is it. That's the last one now. I'm going. <laughs> Before I get caught in.